In early May of 2022, a team of researchers were piloting a remotely operated vehicle in the depths of Papahanao Mokoakea Marine National Monument, a 1,508,870 square kilometer protected region of the Pacific Ocean that lies northwest of Hawaii. On top of an undersea mountain, the researchers noticed yellow rocks that were seemingly cut at a near 90 degree angle. This prompted one of the researchers to joke that it was the Yellow Brick Road, referencing The Wizard of Oz. Another one of the researchers chimed in, adding on that it was a road to Atlantis. Despite Atlantis being everyone's favorite ancient myth, there has still never been any concrete evidence of the fabled city being real. There is much uncertainty as to whether it ever really even existed or not. While there is a 99.9999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999999
The walls were constructed of red, white, and black rock, quarried from the moats, and were covered with brass, tin, and the precious metal or a calcum, respectively. Well, that's a cool story in all Plato, but it's not correct. So, sorry to all of you Chad Lantis fanboys out there, but the Rashad structure unfortunately has been ruled out as being a man made structure. Many that advocate for the Rashad structure Atlantis theory claim that the city was built into the natural structure itself. But again, there has been no evidence of human inhabitation or even presence whatsoever. Atlantis would have likely existed in the near vicinity of the Mediterranean region, with Western Africa being the likely furthest point if its existence was real. So, looking back at our mysterious Hawaiian road here, this faraway location decreases the chances of it being of Atlantean origin. Who would this road belong to then? If it wasn't the Atlanteans, then was it the road of some long-lost Polynesian civilization? The history of the Polynesian people isn't entirely concrete, especially considering their origins, but the general consensus among scholars is that they originally migrated out of Taiwan between 3000 and 1000 BC, eventually making their way to the Samoa, Fiji, and Tonga regions. But these people would carry out their impressive sea voyages on their canoes by reading stars, ocean currents, and by studying the movements of both birds and clouds. While we consider the Polynesians to have been advanced seafarers of the Pacific, it is extremely unlikely and near improbable that they could have reached the Mediterranean or Africa in ancient times. This alone rules them out as even being the source of inspiration for the Atlanteans, and even if they were, there is no evidence of Polynesian DNA being found in the much closer continent of South America, yet alone in Europe or Africa. There's no denying their reputable maritime navigational skills though, as they reached as far as Easter Island roughly around 400 AD, which is nearly 6,000 kilometers west of South America. It is speculated that they settled at the Hawaiian Islands either a few hundred years before or after reaching Easter Island. Since the immigration to Hawaii, there were several roads built as the various islands developed and eventually came into contact with European settlers. But before contact with European settlers though, the Hawaiians did not build any roads in the style of what we see in this mysterious one. Roads were typically nothing more than dirt trails and pathways. Even after 1778, when the Europeans first came into contact with the native Hawaiians, more sophisticated roads wouldn't be built for another 40 or so years when more widened curbstone paths were created for horses to travel on. This now entirely rules out the Polynesians. So now what? Who in the absolute heck even built this road? Well, nobody really. <gasps> the scientists studying this underwater feature don't even believe this to even be a road at all. In fact, they highly suspect it's a geological phenomenon caused by volcanic activity thousands of meters below the surface of the ocean. As cool as it would be for this to be a road not just belonging to Atlantis, but any sort of long-lost civilization for that matter, it is sadly not. The intricate and super-realistic brick-like features of this natural structure are most likely due to cooling and heating stresses caused by a multitude of volcanic eruptions that happened over a span of millions of years. So, just like the Rashad structure, this road was never a road at all. <sighs> Those pesky volcanoes. While we may all be disappointed that this so-called yellow brick road didn't lead us to a long-lost civilization, it is fair to say that this natural structure is extremely important as far as scientific findings go. The team that discovered this formation set out on this underwater expedition with the goal of trying to better understand the origins of the nearby vicinity's underwater mountains, also known as seamounts. This process is best done by collecting geological samples from underwater. The team additionally set out with the task of collecting microbial samples around these underwater volcanoes to gain a more cohesive understanding of what organisms inhabit these treacherous depths. So before you go on being upset about this not being the road to Atlantis, just remember, it's discoveries like these that help us to better understand nature and can even give us a greater understanding in regards to the formation of the Hawaiian Islands. In fact, an underwater volcano located in the South Pacific Ocean formed a new island in September of 2022. According to NASA, the volcano, which spewed lava and gas into the ocean, made a visible formation that could be seen from space in as little as 11 hours. Pieces of rock, ash, and lava left over from the eruption mixed together. The ocean was then able to help cool and solidify the lava and cause all of the other ingredients to form an island. 
While we tend to think of volcanoes as destructive in nature, it's somewhat beautiful and poetic how they have the power to create as well. Anyways, to reiterate our previous point, this is exactly why we study volcanoes and geological formations at the bottom of the ocean, as do the researchers that discovered the yellow brick road of Papahanao Mokuakea. Underwater archaeological expeditions of sunken sites and shipwrecks have been extremely beneficial in terms of helping us understand our past. What we may often overlook, though, are the findings of other oceanography-related studies, including marine biology and underwater geology. Findings in these natural science fields in general, not just underwater-related studies, give us so many explanations of our past as they help us gain more knowledge as to how our planet and its ecosystem works. Studying our planet allows us to more accurately hypothesize certain theories, such as, could the mythical city of Atlantis be sunken somewhere at the bottom of the ocean at an unspecified location? Is the Rishat structure a natural formation or a long-lost city? Are there hidden secrets hidden at the bottom of the ocean that a Polynesian civilization left behind? And is this yellow brick road at the Papahanao Mokuakea Marine National Monument a sunken creation of a long-lost civilization or just a natural formation crafted by Mother Nature? It's questions like these that studies of natural science help us to better understand our ancient past. If you'd like to see more videos that cover more natural structures like the yellow brick road of Papahanao Mokuakea, leave a comment below with a suggestion and we'll consider covering it. Also, please make sure to like, subscribe and turn notifications on as we'll be doing giveaways for several authentic ancient coins. So stay tuned and we'll see you next time only on Amateur Archaeology.